Hey Fragrance fans, cheeky little hidden gem for you tonight and I'm not going to take credit for this one. This one, again, comes courtesy of Icy over in Sap Smells. He really, 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 and I can't stress this enough, really has stumbled upon a real hidden gem. This stuff is mind-blowing. Now, the title said the name. I'm going to give it a go pronouncing it. I see. Let me know for dinner, right? It's Nabil's Kaltat Al Jahibra. S something along those lines. He's done a review. Check his review out because it was a it was a really nice in depth review. He's got a good, a very good knowledge of these these Middle Eastern scents. Fantastic, fantastic reviewer. Anyway, on to this one. I don't have the bottle. Because he was lovely enough to send me a sample, because there was no way in hell I would have even stumbled across this fragrance, guys. It's so under the radar, it's unreal. I do own another Nabil scent, which is Arab Traditions, which is a Tuscan leather clone. And again, I was prone to that by another reviewer. So, Nabil, they're not really out there at the moment, guys. But this one is fantastic. The notes on this, and there's an abundance of notes, so f please forgive me if I, I haven't nailed them all. I'll, I'll try and get as many as I can through. But you've got Bulgarian Rose, Turkish Rose, Bergamot, I believe there's Sweet Blood Orange in there, in the top. And in the mid, you've got Oud, Vanilla Berries, Ginger... And there's some other floral notes in there. And in the base, you've got patchouli. There's amber, I believe, incense, and leather. Now, this stuff is absolutely mind blowing. I sprayed it on about half hour, 45 minutes ago, just to kind of be able to give my opinion of what it's like when it starts to dry down. Now, at the hour mark, which is what we're starting to push upon now, it starts to get quite sweet. Sweet, kind of incense, oud, vanilla. There's, there's a really nice, it's just, it's really kind of gourmandy. It kind of reminds me a bit, a little bit of gingerbread. Um... I own a sample of Mer Imperial and this smells not a hundred percent like it but very similar it's got that kind of almost like cookies like gingerbread cookies or just ginger cake it's, it's got that vibe to it like a spicy gingeriness with a creamy vanilla and the incense is kind of sitting nice in the background it's just it's not pushing right to the forefront, but it's 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 there. It's nice. And as this moves on, it kind of stays quite sweet, but that gingerbread cookie type of feel disappears, and the incense pushes through a little bit more, gets a little bit more masculine. I wouldn't say it's got a harsh leatherness, not like a really masculine leather. It's more, to me, it's more of like a nice smooth suede. It's, it's not ballsy type of leather fragrance. Now, there's no need for me to spray this again. Because um, it's, it's only a sample. So, there's no point me going on about the spray and whatnot. So, there's no need to spray it again. But in the opening, guys, it is very similar to Montal's Black Oud. It opens with a very clean, fresh, rosy scent. Not powdery rose, not dirty rose, very bright, clean, crisp rose, and it is strong as well. Strong, strong, strong rose. So in the opening, you've really got to be a rose fan to enjoy this fragrance. It's not, fem it's not feminine, um, 
to me this is a unisex fragrance but it's not it's not a feminine rose you're not going to wear it and people are going to think that you're wearing your wife's perfume it's just not it's not going to happen but it, that lasts for a good half an hour and then the rose just almost just vanishes to be honest with you guys it just it's gone as, as strong as it is it just goes and then that's when the the incense the oud and the ginger and the vanilla it all just starts mashing up into one beautiful scent guys now i've given this one good way to be honest with you guys because it is such a fantastic fragrance i haven't wanted to just use it whenever i will and i'm telling you now i will be buying a bottle of this and I will tell everybody who's watching this to actually buy this in the UK on eBay for under £15 free delivery. Buy a bottle. Honest to God, for these colder months which we still got with us here and going into spring, this is going to be dynamite. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you once we get around by this, this will be a hype train, guys. This will, the price will go up. Nabil, out of tradition, all of a sudden, Tuscan leather clone, through the roof. This, it's not a clone of anything, guys. Yes, in the opening, to me, it smells like Montage Blackwood. But that's, it just smells like it. It's not a clone. It's not a clone of anything. It's just a damn good fragrance. But, enough of blowing this little trumpet. Four or five sprays. You will get eight hours plus easy. The first three, four hours, it is beastly. It is strong. It is robust. It's a thick, heavy scent. I've only worn it once. I didn't get any compliments, but to be fair, I wasn't really mixing with people. My girlfriend loves this stuff she loves it um this is definitely a unisex fragrance as i've already said but she really 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 likes this scent and i can understand why it is definitely a crowd pleaser this is a fantastic evening scent it is it starts off so clean and then just turns really smooth and creamy it is sexy it has got sex appeal it's going to be a good date night scent. Um, you could wear it out clubbing if you wanted to, to be honest with you. You could wear it to the pub. It's appealing, guys. It's really nice. But for me, just the way it smells, I'd wear this close quarters. If you're on, on a date, one-on-one, -on -one, out for a meal, cinema, round with yours, round with yours, whatever the setting, date night material. Guaranteed, she will be coming in closer but that's all i can really say about this guys it's a hidden gem i'm telling you now pick this up while it's cheap i see mate i don't think even you appreciate what a little gem you have found and i'm hoping that the rest of the community the viewers, other reviewers, can get their nose on this to really appreciate it. So, thank you, IC, for bringing this to our attention. And my sample. Can't fault the guy, legend. Check him out. Really good channel, really good content. But anyway, guys, another fantastic one from Nabil. That's all I got to say. Now, one last thing before I go. Pretty sure I sound like... Columbo, and then I, one last thing, I might edit that out, right, I've been thinking about doing a revisited kind of edition, there's a couple of fragrances that I've reviewed previously, and I had to delete the videos for certain reasons, so it's given me an opportunity now to revisit them, re-review them, and kind of give my take on them now that I feel personally I'm more experienced um with fragrances 
So, if you guys think that's a good idea and you would like to see some revisited fragrances, um, there's a couple that I've got in mind, the likes of Bogart Poor Home, uh, Shadeswood, um, Cuba Gold, Red by Giorgio Beverly Hills. You know, there's, there's a few that I could do. Um, so if you think that's a good idea, let me know. If you think it's a bit, nah, been done, been seen, don't want to hear your voice, you know, rant on about fragrances we've already seen, well, I appreciate that too. Just putting it out there, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with some more videos. Take it easy.